Hi, Chi Wiz here. I just want to give you an overview of my cooking options. There's a lot more information and detail on the individual pages. So let's look at all the cooking options that I have available. The first one I'll mention is the Firefly stove, which is basically a wood burning stove to burn twigs and other small burnables that you find like pine cones and things like that. Weighs just 2.8 ounces. Has these optional small pot supports that are useful if you're using a, uh, a pot like a beer can pot like this one that just uh, needs a little bit more stability and doesn't span the stove's pot supports. Most pots though, anything up to an uh, 1.3 liter Evernew size will fit just fine on these without any pot supports. There's also a grill which you can use with or without the pot supports to grill a steak, hamburger, maybe uh, some things on skewers and that's a really nice option for you. Uh, one of the best features of the stove is what I call a flex port which is an opening that you can feed longer sticks into the fire and also put sticks in and bring sticks out to control temperature for things like grilling and baking that are more finicky. The uh, flex port opens and closes so if you want a, just a quick chimney fire to boil water, you're probably going to close the flex port and then you get a really nice draft up through the fire through the uh, stainless steel mesh bottom. In terms of burners, I have two different kinds. One is the regular dual fuel, calling dual fuel because it burns alcohol on this side with a carbon felt wick and the lid can serve as a tray for an esbit cube. And in addition to the regular dual fuel, I have the dual fuel XL, which works well for larger pots where you're heating up more than a couple cups of water. And there's a stainless steel mesh pot support, and there's also what I call the hinge, which is made of steel rods, stainless steel rods and brass tubes and folds flat. You can also get a complete kit, which has an aluminum pot with a lid, and it comes with a windscreen. I have nine sizes, actually, of these windscreens. All of them have holes on one side and no holes on the other side. This is the side that goes into the wind, and then the air can still come in through the uh, holes on the other side. But these all come apart with a kind of a tab lock mechanism. And then they can easily go into your pot. And be carried nicely. Speaking of Esbit, I have a system I call the ultimate Esbit system. Which has a fire ring and base. The fire ring holds an Esbit cube and it can be oriented to burn the Esbit cube at regular speed for full heat or at half heat for twice as long and that's useful for dry baking which you would do in a titanium pot using this X spacer to keep our baking pan off the bottom of the pot. The baking pan folds flat and comes apart and goes back together and that makes it really easy to carry and to bake in. So I hope that's helpful as you consider your cooking options and uh, you have a great time next time you're in the backcountry and do some uh, do some great cooking. Take care now.